Addis Ahmed. Happy Ethiopian New Year. God bless. Cycle. Ethiopian New Year. If I had a pair of wings over the prison walls, I'd fly until I find the land I love. So I'm Ethiopian. And then you go back into this Western Hemisphere of what took place on American soil New York City almost 12 years ago almost 12 years ago today or actually tomorrow according to our time the many explosives attached to the base of these so-called Twin Towers creating the illusion of the impact of these so-called airplanes hijacked by terrorists in order to provoke hatred and an unjustified war in Iraq and other parts of the Middle East. They're still making that impact of mind control today. So here in the Western Hemisphere, in Mystery Babylon, in these last of last days, despite the horrible thing that took place, which it was horrible no matter how you look at it, this is what we think about when it comes to September 11th every year for the past 12 years. We don't think about the Ethiopian New Year and that solar Hebraic cycle. Most Americans could care less. These corrupt powers that be, the Freemasons, in connection with the Luciferians and the types of Satanists, the Illuminati, the Zionist, so-called Jews, not to mention the original Eurocentric Jews who actually do have that Judaic bloodline, just like the original Hebrew Israelites who were victimized in the Holocaust and other situations that may have that genetic bloodline along with Hebrew Israelites and you know Ethiopian Hebrews. But these powers that be of the Zionist and Hello, I'm Ted Pike. the so-called Jews who call themselves Jews but are not. They are the synagogue of Satan as it reveals in Revelation 2.9 and 3.9 in the Bible. And also These corrupt powers that be are also behind the Ethiopian Holocaust, the African Holocaust of original Jehudaites, Levites, Benjamites, so-called Hispanic or Latino, Native Indian, once lost but now found tribes of Israel. These powers that be use the mainstream media to mind wash people in this whole diversion of what's really happening behind the curtains. Right now as we speak this whole conflict in Syria under the so-called reign of President Obama and this Obama nation of 2013. So when we think about 9-11 every year for the past 12 plus years, we think about the terrible event that took place in Manhattan in New York City. They do this, of this ilk. quite often, but like they did just in the past week or so with Rosh Hashanah, the World Order Yom Teruah, is, is and the whole conflict of Syria. Of this ideology. Now, again, like I said, none of these Nazis but keep in mind, my people, that legacy lives it is the original the Hebraic cycle, that, that solar cycle, controlling that is United to be acknowledged Nations in the kingdom of the Most High. Attempting to make a big power play, come out of Babylon, right before our very eyes, and acknowledge the truth. Such a land of wonder you've never seen. Here, a wonderful land. This particular cycle, red, gold, and green. September 10th. We'll die the king. Technically, in Ethiopia or the Africa, it's already the 11th. The official love, Ethiopian love. New Year. Now let us chant and let us sing. 
Malcolm Adi Samet. The roots of our civilization and our peoples. Africa shall rise.